Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Maricar Sison and welcome to our course, Thermodynamics. And today, we're going to discuss one of the important topics in physics and that is work. When I say work, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Maybe you will think that it is a report that you have to accomplish or a science exam that coming up soon or it is a work in the office. From your previous lesson in physics, you are familiar with forces and the way they make things move. Work is what happens when you apply a force over a certain distance to a system. System is a collection of two or more objects. For example, if you're using a rope to drag a box across the floor, we might say that the box is your system and the force you're using to pull on it is an external force. From the given example, we can say that work done is the product of an applied force and the displacement of an object in the direction of the applied force. The mathematical equation will be W is equals to F multiplied by S, where F is the force expressed in Newton, S is the displacement expressed in meter, and joules is the unit for work. The metric system unit of energy is the Joule, named after a famous British physicist, James Joule, who is best known for his work in electricity and thermodynamics. Now sometimes, the force that you apply to an object won't be exactly the same direction as the direction in which the object is moving. So if you try to drag the box with your hand higher than the box so that the rope was at an angle to the floor, in that case, the box will move parallel to the floor but the, the, the force will be at an angle to it. To find the part of the force that's parallel to the floor, that is the one that's actually pulling the box forward, you have to multiply the magnitude of the force by the cosine of the rope's angle to the ground. We typically designate an angle in the system as theta. So to calculate the work you did on the box, you just multiply the horizontal component or F times the cosine of the theta by the distance you move the box. That's one way physicists often write the equation for work. They set it equal to force times distance times the cosine of theta. And that equation will fit any scenario that moves a constant force being applied over a certain distance. Here is the example showing no work is done. Pushing a wall and a satellite orbiting in space. Remember, no work is done if the object is stationary, no force is applied, and the direction of motion is perpendicular to the applied force. From the following examples, which of the following is work or not? Write your answers on the comment section of this FB group. Thanks for watching. Thank you and keep safe.